Hello, and welcome to the Nintendo Village. My name is Clay, and today I'm going to be doing my first impressions on first impressions on Gunman Clive Collection HD Collection, I think. So as you can see here, we have uh, what looks to be the first and the second game. Uh, well, these games both released originally on the Nintendo 3DS, which I did, I believe, own both of them. Uh, I don't know if I ever beat either of them, but I own both and I really enjoyed them. So I was super excited to see that uh, this was coming out uh, on the Switch, uh, both together, bundled together, which is pretty sweet. Uh, looks like we got some other characters here. I don't know if I've ever played with any of the other characters. I'm going to play on easy because I know that this game can be a little challenging. So uh, for the sake of a playthrough, I'm just going to keep it on the easy end. All right, so uh, pretty simple game overall. It, as far as I remember, there's really just a uh, good old jump and shoot. Got a little duck there. Um, so this isn't like a, a super fast paced, oh geez, game by any means. Uh, it's a little more like methodic with how you, you play in your jumps and your attacks and stuff. Uh, the jump is very floaty in this game, which I think is, you know, by design. Uh, really like the art style, obviously. Uh, that's a big, big selling point of this game. Uh, if I had to explain the genre to somebody, uh, I'd say more of a, like an action platformer, I guess. Uh, if you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I ever beat these on uh, the 3DS, but I did enjoy my time with them. I am a big fan of Westerns, and so, uh, when I saw this game on the 3DS, I was like, oh, I should definitely check it out, and uh, was really happy with it. Um, really a good game for the price, and uh, I think this game is no exception. Ooh, a little bonus there. A little cake, keep my health up. I believe the meter on the left is my health, if I remember correctly. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, that wasn't good. And I lost my good gun. Well, that was stupid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, oh, that was close. I like westerns. I love western movies. Uh, I like to try to buy western video games when they appear. I've got a couple different games on the Switch, western themed. So, um, those of you wondering, I cannot shoot upwards. Uh, so, those guys you just kind of have to avoid. And uh, yeah, so there's. What's going to happen here? There's multiple levels you have to beat. Uh, before you kind of, I think, clear, I guess it's not, oh god, I'm right in the face, I don't know, it, it's, there's nothing like super groundbreaking about it, um, but it works, it's really fun, there, uh, it's a little, little slow paced, um, but I like that, it's kind of relaxing, it definitely gets more challenging as, as things go, um, but, okay, I got another gun upgrade. But if you, if you take your time, unlike what I just did, um, it's a lot easier. Make less mistakes. And if you just keep firing as you progress through the levels, it also helps. So yeah, I mean, the. You get both games for like four bucks, I believe, and uh, it's really a kind of a no-brainer if you ask me. Um, I don't know. Maybe this isn't the best game to sit here and talk about because there's only so much you can say. But um, the visual upgrade is obviously is good because we're talking going from you know the 3DS um, to an HD you know full-screen console. So they definitely did their work. It looks very crisp and. I still feel like it has its original art style to it, obviously. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, I don't know. This is a great game to pick up and play for a little bit and then, you know, put, a, put away. And I think they um, designed it as such. Oh boy. Oh geez, I'm dying. So notice how when I fell, I lost some of that bar up top, but it didn't like count as a life, I guess. I guess I forgot there really aren't technically lives in this. It's more of 
depleting that bar. Oh my gosh. Like I said, this game more. Ooh, tracer. Tracer. Nice. So there's some variation there with the uh, the different ammo types and stuff, which is. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you got to be either a fan of the genre or the topic material, um, or just a fan of good uh, good art styles. I feel like that makes all the difference as to whether or not this is something you're gonna want to pick up. Yeah, that was close. Oh, it doesn't keep moving. Just like that, I gotta kick back to the beginning of the level. As far as music goes, I wouldn't say there's too much about this one that really stands out musically. Um, I wouldn't say it's like heavenly, heavily Western either. Um, but it's not bad music. More 8 bit style, and well, probably not exactly how I would envision it if it were up to me. But stuff like this, I guess this sounds a little more Western. Frick, man. That rabbit just killed me. You got some aggressive rabbits around here. See, I appreciate, like, that trap door there. Oh, jeez, I jumped. Um, I pressed the jump button too quickly and it didn't register. Uh, I appreciate that trap door that guy pops out of because they, like, it has, like, a blue hue to it. So it kind of gives you a heads up. It's coming. Alright, I imagine those are going to drop. Cool. <clears throat> I just got to make sure I don't jump too quickly because it won't register. Alright. Yeah, I remember reading, you know, back in the Western days, giant saw blades on tracks were an issue. Ah! No! It more pissed me off that I lost my gun than anything. Seems like every time I get a, a special gun, I end up losing it. So. I don't believe I can go in any of these doors either. So. Nor have I. Oh, boss time! job at jumping over his shots. Oh, jeez. I'm not looking for you. Birthday cake. Alright, full hook. That's what I'm talking about. Right, there we go. Got him. Booyah. 50 seconds. Music's getting better. It's <laughs> definitely one of those games where it 
it, it doesn't hurt to just keep shooting. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, so really none of this is bringing about no damage. Nice. Didn't even know that thing. Uh oh, minecart level. All right. Uh, it's one of those where I, when I jump, the whole thing jumps. Yep. Good to know. Should have seen that coming. Ooh, wasn't ready for that. All right, I gotta shoot and jump here. Can I have to shoot backwards? Oh man. Things is getting crazy. Oh, I looked away for a second. Darn it, you gotta start over. I love me some minecart levels, huh? Big DKC fan here, so. Joy-Cons work very good for this kind of thing. I want to be able to shoot and jump with my thumb at the same time. Oh, I press jump! Um, but they're kind of close together and I keep hitting my thumb on the joystick too. Would maybe be easier with Pro Controller. Dang it. Alright, this is uh, a little more on the challenging side. In true minecart level fashion, I would say. Alright, see if we can keep it together here. Hey, there we go. Looks like we uh, got some uh, moving platforms. If you could call it that. <laughs> Intensive game, um, but I think it works well. I think uh, it's, it's a, ah, crap. a very polished game. For wow, I need to stop jumping on that platform. For what it is, wow. Apparently, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Nope. Like I, and I've seen other people say this, but I could totally see why people. Uh, or I could see how somebody, the developers or whoever, could totally have charged more than they what they charged for this. Um, yeah, it's an older game. It was a 3DS game, and I don't know. It's a, it's a lower budget indie game, but I, I still think it's an outstanding, fun game. That's not overly flashy and is maybe a little slower paced, but I still think it's a great game and. Totally worth having on the Switch. Alright, let's see if I can go over this platform before we run out of time. Oh my gosh. Ugh. One more time. And I got hit by TNT. This might just be the end for me here. There we go. 
We got some wind here. So there, there's a lot of uh, ad additional things that different levels are adding to, you know, keep the challenge, keep it fresh. So um, I, don't, I don't even really, I should have maybe spent a little time with the second one too, but most of these games, you know, the first few levels are very similar and take a little while to start developing. But yeah, I mean, I would highly recommend this one. I like this. Uh, I think they everything they set out to do, they do well. And I think, uh, uh, I think it's totally worth its money. So definitely check it out. Gunman Clive HD collection on the uh, eShop right now for like $4 or something. It's ridiculous. Check it out. Guys, thanks so much for uh, be, uh, checking the game out and uh, checking out our videos. Uh, st stick around. Hang out here uh, at the Nintendo Village YouTube page uh, for more awesome content. See you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and visit thenintendovillage.com. Your home for everything Nintendo.